gangster just like my ego waffles i just want my ego waffles i ain't trying to be aggressive but people look at me like i'm an old man i came back from resurrecting up they look at me like i came back from the dead like it's resident evil but they don't even understand that i'm actually more human than you ever can this is why i'm what you call the ex-human I'm just different. I'm artistically different. Now, I ain't trying to have sex in no meat shop. What's up, YouTube? This is your king of the night, Vincent Valentine, the ex-Turk, coming back at you with a brand new video, and my lighting is just crap. You gotta forget. You gotta forgive me for that. But anyways, we're back. You know, we're back on to another Final Fantasy 15 segment. Because people, I guess people like my Final Fantasy 15 videos the best. So, yeah, I wanted to show off my amiibos in the background. Alright, so let's get started. My fan theory is... Did the Lucius Kylium, pa did the Lucius Kylium Royal Blood Power originate with Bahamut? Because as we can see, Bahamut can use Royal Arms. The Dragon King... Could use royal arms just like Lucius Kylian Kings. Could it be possible that Bahamut? Could it be possible that Bahamut is slowly related to, you know, related to closely, sorry, closely related to Arden? It could be possible that actually Bahamut is Arden and Azunia's uncle. Because remember, Eos is the one who created the Lucius Kylian family, started with the brothers. And Arden was meant to be a king of the light. That's why he still has the royal arms, even though it's the evil form of the royal arms. He still kept his power because he got it straight from the bloodline. And maybe Eos herself could actually use royal arms as well. But we just noticed something when we fought Bahamut. Now, we never knew anything about Bahamut besides the fact that he was the last astral to tell Noctis the truth about the prophecy and the truth about how he has to sacrifice himself in order to become a king of light. So, it just makes me think maybe it's possible that possibly that Bahamut is one of the original Lucius Kyliums, before the Lucius Kyliums, before the human half astral be breeds. There was one Lucius Kylium king of the astrals, and that was actually Bahamut. You know, if you notice, not only the royal arms, but if you notice that Bahamut were, is a black dragon, and if you notice the kings of Lucius, when they get their king's outfit, when they get their king's outfit, you know, the, the the king's outfit or or even the king's glaive outfit, it's all black, and the only not only the Lucius Kylian bloodline can actually use the royal arms, but the king's glaive people who are not of royal blood can use it too. Considering we saw a little bit of display from Nick Nix, even though Nix can't use, you never seen Nix use the royal full thing he was able to use the warp strikes and then if you play comrades one of lucius kylian kings of the night of uh, knights around court of knights around it actually gives you the power to use royal arms just as if you were noctis himself so this is why i think it's possible that bahamut is actually the originator of the lucius kylian and the lucius kylian's uh, source of power comes from bahamut you know, whether you're an anointed king, or even if you're not of royal blood, if you're the king's guard. Which could also lead into the fact that maybe it's possible that that uh, Arden, uh, no, not Arden, sorry, Gladiolus, Prompto, and Ignis could actually use royal arms being the king's, current king's guard. But that's not the point I'm trying to say. The point I'm trying to say is that you know, and I'm glad that Comrades came out. This is actually a good business decision done by Hajima Tabata. This is actually Ta Hajima Tabata doing good with Final Fantasy and not fucking it up. So, I think it's possible. I think it's possible that the Lucius Kylum's source of power and source of strength 
comes from the Astro Bahamut since he knows about the prophecy. He's also the one who gave Noctis the power to defeat Arden, even though it was at the cost of his life. He's the one who anointed Noctis the power to become a godlike being. Because it when when he becomes older, Noctis, he becomes like a godlike being. He becomes like a benevolent god. Even though he has to sacrifice himself, which makes makes it go into biblical prophecies as if you really think about it. You know, if you really think about, you know, sacrifice to save the whole world and stuff like that. But that's not here or there. What's going on is that now Final Fantasy's always had prophecies of four warriors of light. All through the original Final Fantasy 1 that guard the crystal. But I'm just saying, you know, I think the power had to be anointed by Bahamut. So Bahamut's the one who gave King Regis his powers and Lucius Kylium's, you know, the powers until he was, you know, trapped in the crystal, which, you know, Noctis breaks him out. And as for, you know, as for thanks, gives Noctis the power to fulfill his calling and de deliver Arden from his darkness and save the world of Lucius, which actually happens in the end. But that's not why I'm here to talk about. I'm saying that, you know, I think it's a huge possibility that, you know, the Lucius Kylium's power comes from Bahamut as the source. For the fact that Eos had children with a human, which created the Nephilim known as the Lucius Kylium bloodline. And if you look at Bahamut's attacks, Bahamut can even use the ultra Royal arms if you would have done if you would have undertook the quest if you would have undertook the quest to def to fight Bahamut He actually uses a uh, different sort of attack than he does in the story version of that battle so Noctis is Great 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 the in the beginning of time uncle is actually Bahamut so Bahamut's actually a relative to Noctis as well as Arden so, Arden's uncle is Bahamut, but, you know, Bahamut sees how evil his nephew Arden is, so he needed to have a bunch of kings sacrifice themselves until we got the true king of light, which is, that's what Noctis was supposed to be, and that's what Noctis ended up becoming, is the true king of light. But, you know, if you really look closely at the attacks that Bahamut is using, you know, it's the same thing as Noctis. If you look at the clothing of the, of the, of the kings, of the past kings, they were black, and the armor kind of looks like the dragon armor for, uh, from Bahamut's dragon thing. So that means Bahamut's actually related to the Lucius Kylips. He's actually a great descendant of them. If you really think about it, because he, you know, Eos has created the Astrals as well as the first two pairs of Nephilim humans known as the Lucius Kylium bloodline, Azunia and Arden, you know, and that could also be the reason why Arden was jealous too, because he felt like he was isolated by his family and his uncle who gave him at least the basic powers of the royal arms but i think most of it comes from bahamut even so that means eos can use royal arms as well considering eos is the one who created the astrals and created the world of eos as well so it's not impossible to think that it's it's not impossible to think that bahamut is actually the source of power of the Lucius Kyliums. Even though Bahamut is a watcher. And he watches the world. Still. It can't be ignored that. Bahamut is a Lucius Kylium Before Lucius Kylium ever existed. He's actually. The one who made the bloodline. Get the power in order to do. What they need to do. To fulfill the calling of the kings. So, I think, you know, this theory is actually valid on the fact that not only you see Bahamut uses, but not just only the L Lucius Kyliums, but play Final Fantasy XV Comrades multiplayer, your character, a Kingslave member, even if you change the color of the outfit, still gets to use the power of the Kings. You get to use the power of the Kings as a base member of the Kingslave. 
nothing special about you except for the fact you can use royal arms. It's anointed because the the king's glaive is actually the military of Lucius Caelium Kings. But what makes me think about this theory is if Eos created the Astrals, then that, and first and then Eos got pregnant by a human being once e you know the world of Eos existed. You know she probably took human form and had kids, the two brothers of the Lucius Kylie is Zunia and Arden million uh, three thousand years ago. Now I think the world of Eos is probably created even you way uh three you know millions of years before, but it's not impossible to think that Eos took human form and in the in in, in the Bible there were angels that looked upon, you know, beautiful human females and wanted to actually make them their, their wives and that's what they did and that's what created the nephilim and the nephilim had to be destroyed even though the lucius kylium are actually a more friendly nicer breed of nephilim and they, they you know only one went evil just the fact that one went evil and purged the world into the darkness with the star scourge you know it was actually to be ordained that the lucius kylium no longer should exist even though Noctis was a good king you know Noctis should have never existed on the fact that he was part of the Nephilim bloodline King Regis should have never existed and even though there were good kings I mean look what happened you create one bad Nephilim named Arden Lucius Kylium you know because Arden was all up in his feelings. He was all up in his he, he was all up in his feelings. It put the whole world into darkness. So that's why Bahamut told Noctis since he's the last king, everybody has sacrificed themselves for the king. So therefore the king has to sacrifice himself for the whole world. And it makes sense because the Lucius Kylan bloodline put the whole world into darkness. So, you know, even though Bahamut was okay in the beginning with the Lucius Kylium bloodline, but when Arden started betraying everybody and started going rogue and started going evil, I think that's when Bahamut killed Eos. And it pissed Arden off to the point of doing all the stuff. It even got Ifrit mad considering... That was also Ifrit's mother too. And then both Ifrit and Arden were in cahoots. And actually started all the stuff you see in Final Fantasy XV up. It's not too impossible to think that. That. And it's not too impossible to think that. That. Bahamut is actually. One of their great ancestors of the Lucius Kylium bloodline. Since that's where. Most of the power from none of the other astrals could use royal arms except Bahamut. You know, the king's jackets with uh, the king's jackets with the armor on it looks a lot like Bahamut's armor, which is connected if you really think about it. You know, the fact that Lucius Kyliums wore all black, even Arden did, even when Arden went evil and went on the side of Niflheim, he still wore his black because they all originate from Bahamut. Bahamut was the influence and the source of power where the Lucius Kylum got their powers from. So that's my whole theory about Bahamut Lucius Kylum. Like and subscribe, share if you think this is cool. Wouldn't it be cool? Don't forget my merch is going to be made in December. That's going to be coming up and May the Crystal be with you.